My name is Hassan Louis Majid, and I'm a senior here at High Top. I am also a member of Minority Student Achievement Network, and I performed in several school and theater community and theater community productions. In the fall, I will be attending Tuskegee University, majoring in finance. I am so pleased this afternoon to introduce Mr. Sean Sullivan, class of 1988. He is unique in this celebrated group of alumni in that after college, he returned to this community and is now a teacher at Heights. In this school district, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's a teacher in this school district, I'm sorry. He is currently the science and engineering specialist at Garrity Professional Development School and was the Heights boys soccer coach for 14 years. He also built a strong soccer development program in this community. It is safe to say that if you or your children play soccer here in the last 25 years, you are a beneficiary of Mr. Sullivan's contributions. When Mr. Sullivan talked about his experience at Heights High, he said that being a part of the soccer team and having supportive teachers taught him to give back to his community. And on top of his long list of accomplishments, he overcame a personal battle last year, which makes it even more of a blessing for me to introduce a man who has given so much to our district, students, and families, Mr. Sean Sullivan. Thank you, Sean. I'd like to start by thanking Hassan. He's an outstanding young man, and congratulations, I thank you. I stand before you a very proud Cleveland Heights University Heights educator and coach, and I extend my congratulations to the 2018 inductees for the, their incredible accomplishments. I salute the Heights Schools Foundation and the Image Makers for making this day possible. I would like to start by thanking several groups that have had a significant impact on my personal and professional path. First, to my family and close friends, your unconditional support and encouragement, especially in the last 17 months, has played the biggest role in where I am today. Thank you, and I love you. To my colleagues, students, soccer families, and community members who took the time today to show up and support me, thank you very much, and I appreciate you. To the city of Cleveland Heights, my home for the last 40 years, where I grew up and continue to live in the Noble neighborhood, thank you. To the Cleveland Heights University Heights School District for consistently hiring the best staff to provide a strong educational foundation for all students, including myself, to succeed and make their impact on the world. To the Heights Athletic Department, whose coaches, staff, and athletes represent our district with pride and dignity. To the Heights soccer programs, recreational, academy, club, and high school, I thank all the coaches, players, parents, and supporters over the years. Everyone is so very special to me. And finally, to the Cleveland Heights University Heights teachers, administration, staff, students, and families, who I believe with all my heart and soul are the best in the world. It is the honor of my life to work alongside you all. I want to share something quite personal, an unexpected journey that I began four years ago and didn't even realize it. And the encompassing message will help you understand the depth and impact that Heights High has had, not only on me directly, but that on future generations. In 2014, after 21 years of coaching boys soccer at Heights High, 14 years as the head coach, the time came for me to step down. As you can imagine, it was a very difficult decision, but it was mostly based upon signals that my body was sending me that the extra hours I was working during the season were taking a toll on me. So I stepped down, while all the time quietly watching and supporting the team. I figured that the body signals would dissipate, but in fact, they got worse. So, after two years of more than 10 puzzled doctors, I finally found a specialist that could identify the problem. It turned out to be a rare, slow-growing cancer, which was virtually undetectable at first, but was now in the final stages and an immediate major abdominal resection and reconstruction surgery was necessary. Now, I don't share this for sympathy, in fact, I have a very strong mindset, and just 10 weeks after that surgery last May, I ran and completed the Cleveland Half Marathon, 13.1 miles, just to show cancer, it can't and it won't keep me down. Thank you. And in 16 days, I will once again be running the Cleveland Half Marathon as a one-year cancer survivor. And if all goes as planned, this November, I will be in New York City running the full 26.2 mile marathon. I got a second chance at life, and I'm going to make the most of it. Now, the cool part of the story is that the doctor who diagnosed me when no one else could and saved my life was a Cleveland Heights High graduate. <laughs> and 
And it doesn't stop there. In November of this year, it was determined that a second surgery was needed. And as I was being wheeled into the operating room, a voice said to me, don't worry, Mr. Sullivan, we got you. And I looked up from the gurney, and it was a student that I taught in first grade at Oxford Elementary School 24 years ago, who was now part of the surgical team. So, to Dr. Shapiro and medical technician Brian, both Heights graduates, I thank you for saving my life. You are both in my Heights High Hall of Fame. When I tell this story to others, they often say, what are the chances of that happening? And I reply, the chances are actually quite good. It is inevitable that you will run into a Heights graduate in the city of Cleveland Heights or University Heights. But as you branch out into surrounding communities and across the state, the odds remain quite high that a Heights, um, that, that a Heights graduate who is excelling in their career will cross paths with you. And as you travel across the country and span the globe, there's always that chance that you will meet a Heights Tiger. And when you do, you will share an immediate bond. The message I am conveying is that Heights High students and alumni are actively changing the community, the state, the nation, and even the world. And we all share a common bond. We have all walked the halls of this amazing school with this amazing staff in an amazing community. I am fortunate as a Cleveland Heights University Heights educator and coach to witness and interact with the next generations that will influence our society. I can see that early spark embedded in the elementary students as they are just beginning their journey. And I have been consistently impressed with the talent and composure of today's Heights High students who are currently making their impact in many ways. In closing, I encourage you to take three messages from my speech today. First, choose a healthy lifestyle. We sometimes take our good fortune of health for granted, and when it is taken away, you realize just how important it is. Listen to the signals your body sends you. If something is wrong, seek attention as quickly as you can. Second, always follow your passions, talents, and your dreams. You can be anything you choose to be. And yes, it takes hard work to be successful, but your efforts will pay off and you will make your mark on the world. And finally, take time out of your life to give back to others. Be a hero to a child, a helper to those in need, and an inspiration to your family, friends, and community. In doing so, you will affect the lives of others in ways you can't possibly imagine. Thank you so very much for this honor and enjoy the rest of your evening.